Hey everybody, how's it going? I wanted to talk about lead guitar, how I approach it, how I mix it. So I've got a clip from the last tune I did. This is from the best free guitar plugins 2021 video. Here's a quick clip. All right, so, you know, very epic, very over the top lead sound, which is what I like. With this tune, I came up with this initial lead line, which, you know, isn't a expressive, crazy lead line. It's, uh, it's a melody. I just had the one guitar playing the lead, which sounded like this. <laughs> You know, that sounds fine, sounds great, but I really wanted the lead to be more epic, you know, to be thicker or whatever. And initially I tried a harmony, didn't work. I tried a lower harmony, didn't really work. So I ended up trying a lower octave. So I've recorded another track playing the same lead line, just lower down. So when I added that in, it just immediately gave me the sound I wanted. What I'm using for the lead sound is Amped DVT by ML Sound Lab. Here are the settings. I'm using the Red Giant number six. That's from my own free IR pack, Red Giant. This is a Slash and Red back in a Zilla cab, mic'd up with an SM48, about where the cap meets the cone, more towards the cone. So it's a little bit dark, but it still has a nice presence to it. Pedal board, I'm just using the overdrive there to get more gain. Here's the EQ for the lead guitar. This EQ is on both tracks. I high pass to about 200 because you don't need any of the rumbly bass for lead guitar. And in pick attack, even on higher strings, you can hear a lot of messy low end on those notes sometimes. I've got a low pass to about 6K. You really don't need much above that, maybe to seven or 8K, it depends on your mix. And then after that, I just look for harsh frequencies between about 3K and 5K. It's usually almost, well, almost always at 4K and I've dipped it by 4 dB. And again, same settings for that second lead guitar. And then I'm sending them through a bus here. In Reaper, you know, you can have two tracks like that, uh, then make a new track above it, uh, and then click that symbol and it'll send these two tracks or whatever tracks are underneath to that track. So now this is my lead master bus basically. And on that, I've got Valhalla Supermassive, which is a free plugin. I don't know how it's free because it sounds so good. I'm on the, the Hydra mode, I've got the Hydra Heart preset. Dialed the feedback back a little bit. Dialed the mix back a little bit, just to make it sit a little bit better in the mix. After the Supermassive, I've got Re EQ, and I'm just taking out some 5.5K because I was getting a little bit of harshness here and there was a build up and a lot of whistling going on and it was very annoying in the mix. Right, I'll just repeat this section and I'll turn this little notch on and off so you can hear what it's doing. It's just that extra little bit of fine tuning because I liked the sound of the lead. Uh, it, I thought it sat well, really well in the mix. And I didn't necessarily want to take the treble down on the amp and you know change the EQ of the amp because I liked the sound. Same with the IR, you know, I could have changed the IR or blended in um, a darker IR into that one to you know mitigate this, but it just changes the sound too much and you don't want to change the overall sound. So just notching 
out a frequency that is bugging you is the best way to do it. And the problem was more apparent after I put the Supermassive on there. So I've got this EQ after that to mitigate all those problems. So that's my approach to lead guitar, guys, and I hope it helps. All right, guys, since you've made it this far, I just want to plug the new album from my side project. Nest of Scum 2, Return of the Revenge. It's a heavy dose of death, grind, slam, groove, whatever metal, and it's totally free to download. Links below. And as always, there's the link to my main project below also. Thanks for watching, guys. I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you want to see more metal-related stuff. I'll be back sometime with a video on something else. So until then, ciao.